All right, guys, uh, I'm in the new house. It finally, the snow is melting, so I'm gonna give you guys a tour, and I'm not gonna do it live this time, so uh, the alarm system won't go off halfway through it. Um, but I'm, I got a lot of work for me. So uh, let's start out with the garage. Boom. At least twice the amount of space in there. It is basically all boxes. I haven't gotten through the garage stuff yet. Um, we pan around. All right, so we got a rock wall around here. We're thinking about doing a garden. Uh, we got to figure out where the sunlight's gonna be. Here's a shot of our side yard. So I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with this spot here. Uh, it's kind of an interesting feature. Uh, we got some lawn and you can see it's hurting. There is some grass there, but it's hurting. Backyard, started doing a little bit of uh, leaf cleanup, just playing around one day in between uh, stuff working. But uh, you can see we got a bunch of trees. Definitely I'm gonna trim some of these branches. They come out ridiculously far. Um, but we got a lot more space now. The issue I'm gonna have is sunlight. We really don't know how much sunlight there's gonna be. Now this is, it's like seven o'clock in the morning, but uh, the sun is right there and then it tracks whoo, over that way. And so we should get sunlight this way, but uh, I just don't know how much yet because obviously we got trees with no leaves on them. But we got quite more space. We're gonna have chickens way back there, set up a coop. Um, but this is right here, this is the shot of why we love this house. I mean, besides the house part, but the, the property, um, we got this nice view of some water. We got a family of ducks already in there, the birds around. It's just so quiet here. All you hear is the birds. Um, and then we do, our property does go back there quite a ways. So we might do a garden over there too. We gotta figure out, you know, how much clearing we wanna do. Um, one of the big problems we're gonna have is, I don't know if it really can see it, but it's very uneven. So I'm gonna look into getting an excavation company to come level this out um, because gonna be super annoying trying to mow up and around and all that stuff um, but it's another thing I gotta figure out uh, let's see oh yes yeah, so, uh, I don't know if this is considered the front but in front of the house we got this space here which I'm thinking if we clear out whatever that thing is kind of level it out we could have some chairs here you could sit looking at the view. Um, it's all overgrown. They haven't done any landscaping here in a long time. So not really sure, but it looks like whatever this is spreads because um, it's just a massive amount of it. And then front of the house, same thing. Got some landscaping to do. You can see there's a little bit of uh, borders going on. Then there's actually a trail that goes down here and you probably won't see it. Well, maybe you will. There's a little dock there, but the dock um, is not attached to anything. It clearly floated and moved away probably in a storm. So I gotta put that down. We'll have a little boat for the kids to play in. Um, so <clears throat> that's the new house. Now it's gonna be a lot of work. Um, Look at, I mean, you, you can see bits and pieces of grass, but this is super compact. You can see there's moss, um, very thin. Here, at least, you know, there's not as much leaves, but the rest of the yard looks more like, more like this. So if there is grass under there, or there was, it's probably dead by now. So it's gonna be an interesting year. Um, Pretty much is gonna be cleaning it up. I am gonna throw some seed down. Uh, essentially what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get a couple varieties of uh, grass that, is this, yeah, it's still recording. 
a couple varieties of grass that does well in the shade and just doing little test plots, that type of thing. Um, I know for sure I'm not going to be ready to do like a full renovation this year. Most likely going to have to do some tree chopping down, but you know, I'm not going to try to do a renovation before everything is leveled and all that. Um, so I'm going to focus more on getting the soil ready, doing soil tests, amending whatever needs to be amended. Um, you know, I'll, I'll still throw seed down just because, you know, if anything, it'll help it look a little bit better, but I'm not planning on doing it like a official renovation. Um, so it's going to be a busy year. I'll get to try different things. We got acorns here. Um, to deal with picking them up, so I got some ideas for that. Um, oak trees, pine trees. Basically, we got all the trees, and so I know a lot of people will be like, oh, what do you do for pine or for oak or, you know, cleanups and stuff like that. So I'll get to play with those concepts and show you what, uh, what I do. So um, it'll be a fun year, and uh, I'll look forward to it. So, all right, have a good one. If you like my videos, you'll love my website, grassdaddy.net. The Lawn Care Planner tool will download the local weather reports every morning and build a lawn care plan catered to your area. The Lawn Care Journal allows you to keep track of what you put down, when you put it down, so there's no more guessing or over or under applying any products. We also have a Lawn of the Week contest. Every week a winner gets a Grass Daddy t-shirt. And last but not least, there are application calculators and articles to help you identify and tackle problems in the lawn. So check it out, it's completely free, it's grassdaddy.net.